Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hope for elect. Leaving on the words of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. This is Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 39 and verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pull out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. A shocking confession, and police say a mother admitted to killing her two young children, then leaving their bodies to decompose inside their southwest Baltimore apartment. Tonight, police are still trying to answer the question everyone wants to know, and that is why. Hello, everyone. This is the News at 11, and special welcome to those who are streaming on CBS in Baltimore. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Vitter. Now, neighbors tell us they only ever saw a loving mother with those children, but as investigators try to piece this all together, tonight we are learning more about the suspect who had some run-ins with police. WJC is live. Annie Rose Ramos tells us this is not the first time she's faced charges related to her children. Annie Rose. Vic and Rick, we've learned from court documents she faced two counts of uh, negligence, of criminal negligence back in 2018. Now, we've also heard tonight from a neighbor who said she only saw a good mom. She tells us she can't understand what went wrong. A gruesome discovery leads to a mother's arrest. We can confirm now that the mother, 28-year-old Jamara Hall, is the suspect in this case having confessed to murdering her children. Police were called to Coventry Manor Apartments Tuesday afternoon because something smelled bad. Responding officers say they found six-year-old Denira Thomas and her eight-year-old brother, Devin, their bodies decomposing. The police commissioner says there are reports that the children were seen as recently as last week. And I have two little mini-me's tonight. This evening I have... Denira Thomas Joy. And I have... Devin Thomas. One year ago, Jamira recorded this podcast with her two children. Y'all been driving me crazy. But I love y'all. I too. Okay. Okay. They were like a trio. If you saw her, you saw them. Their neighbor, who did not want to be identified, says her own daughter and Danira were best friends. Danira and my daughter would play in the hallway. Calling Jamira an attentive mother. That neighbor says this spray paint on the grass is from where Jamira recently painted a table for her kids. It was beautiful. It was like the blue sky, the beautiful blue sky with the white cloud. Now the family's neighbor wonders how she'll tell her daughter that her best friend is gone. I have no clue how I'm going to explain this to my baby. Because she would they just play with them every day. Now, Vic, in 2018, police tell us the children were reported missing but found the very next day with their mother at the hospital. Now, this mother is now in police custody and charges are pending. Reporting live at 11, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ. This case is disturbing. Again, this is Sarak or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39 and verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of, the, of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Yeah, Yahweh shall shine, made certain spirits, all right, to enact his vengeance upon the earth, okay? It says fire and hell and famine and death. Many ways to die here in Babylon the Great. All these were created for vengeance, teeth of wild beasts, and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. You may say, but well, these kids were innocent. No, no one's innocent. Let's get that. Okay? 
And that's a hard pill for folks to understand. But that's what the Lord gives us insight to who he really is. All right. And why you should fear the Lord of hosts. You see. Let's go to Job chapter four. <clears throat> this is Job four. And verse seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent or well, were the righteous cut off. Even as I have seen they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. It's no getting away. All right. Now I have a second video I want to play. And, and the, the, the thing uh, that's curious to me, both of these situations happen in Baltimore. The last story and this story we're about to see so many levels. The defendant bragged to police that the case would give her notoriety, but then she also denied knowing the kids were in their trunk, claiming she thought the odor was a rat on her engine. We got every cop in Essex out here tonight. A traffic stop for speeding and the odor of decomposition led police to the bodies of two young children and the trunk of a car driven by their aunt, 33-year-old Nicole Johnson. She told police the body of her seven-year-old niece had been in the trunk since May 2020, and she placed her five-year-old brother next to her two months ago. Former neighbors are grief-stricken and appalled. According to charging documents, during the initial traffic stop, police learned Johnson had no license, no insurance, and fake tags. They advised her to report to district court within five days. She stated, it don't matter. I won't be here in five days, and y'all gonna see me on the news. Y'all gonna see the news making my big debut. Court papers indicate police advised her the car would be towed and to take her belongings. Johnson retrieved a black and yellow plastic tote and a clear trash bag from her trunk and placed them on the sidewalk. Police say she tried to use a blanket to conceal the bodies, then attempted to flee, but was quickly caught. One of Johnson's former neighbors recalls seeing the children. Johnson told police she had custody of the children since 2019 because her sister couldn't take care of them. They were five and seven when they died. Johnson told detectives she struck the seven-year-old several times for misbehaving, causing her to hit her head on the floor and die. She told police two months ago she saw blood on the leg of a five-year-old boy as he slept. She said he never woke up. The autopsy showed the girl weighed 18 pounds and the boy 21 pounds. According to police, doctors say it would have taken months of malnourishment to attain those low weights. Now, Jason Johnson, rather, remains on a no-bail status at the Baltimore County Detention Center. Reporting live from District Court in Towson, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News. See? It's the Lord of hosts, all right? He's, he's, he's letting us know his power. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You see? For I lift up my hands to heaven and say, I live forever. And you how about y'all? Shah is doing work. All right? Putting these certain spirits on people. Now I have a, uh, another story that I say regarding a woman said that, um, uh, that, uh, she was sacrificing a child to Satan. All right. And, and it's just more uh, of the Lord showing who you should fear. You should fear your how about shall shy, the one who shapes your every waking destiny. Moment. A shocking confession, please. This is Amos chapter three and verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? See, these children was five and seven, six and eight. And you have about shot, shot, took them all. All right. And you can say, well, he, that's, that's not the Lord. Yeah, it is. You, that, you don't understand judgment real quick. You don't understand judgment. Is that Proverbs? Let's go to the book of Proverbs. I believe it's 28 and 5. Bear with me. You don't understand judgment. 
Okay. Mm, okay. Let's go to the next chapter. They went to 27 for some reason. You don't understand judgment. And the Lord said you wicked for that. Right? Hmm. So like you. This is Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 5. Evil men understand not judgment. See, that was judgment from the Lord of hosts. There's no telling what these children did in their past life to receive such a public and, and, and gruesome death. See, evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. See, the Lord has opened himself up to us to, to fear the power that controls your every waking step. All right. This is First Samuel. Chapter 2 and verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. See? The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. See, it's Yahweh making this point. Again, he's showing forth his works, man. All right? And nobody gets away. Real quick. Let's get that. <clears throat> Nobody gets away. Colossians. The book of Colossians chapter 3. And. Verse 25. But he that do of wrong. Shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect of person. So we don't know. All right. How about Shao Shai knows? He set that whole scenario up, all right, to cause the death of these four children. Okay? Let's close it out here. Because that's why we need to be in fear, you how about Shao Shai? We ain't fearing no goddamn man. We ain't fearing Esau. We fearing the Lord of hosts. This is Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, you see? The one who shapes your every waking move. Well, matter of fact, let's get that word hands. All right. Because, you know, man, something serious, man. The Lord, something serious. All right. Let's get the Strong's info for that word hands. Um,. Not much info on that. Let's go to the Bible usage. It says, by the help or agency of anyone by means of one, figuratively applied to the Most High. Symbolism, his might, see? Activity, power, you see? So the power, Yahweh Bashar Shah, who created heaven and earth, all right, was the same power who took these two, these four, excuse me, four children out, all right? It says, in upholding and preserving, see, the Lord preserves you also. It says, the Most High is presenting, excuse me, is present, protecting, and aiding one. And here's the contrast, in punishing, see, in determining and controlling the destinies of men. So it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shah. Let's read this one more time. We'll close it out. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Cautionary tale. Hey, keep fearing your heart by shout. Shout, we're going to need it in the times we're approaching. That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, be edifying. want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh By Hashem Rekakwadash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and elders, great millstone. Lord willing. Coming to you with another lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.